five minutes. Good time, good moments in five minutes. Hello and welcome to Five Minutes with Rawit Hanud Sahar. Have you ever found yourself feeling hurt, even deeply troubled, by what others think or say about you? It's a common experience, but if you ask someone who has walked this earth a little longer, they'll likely tell you that what others think of you is none of your concern. You don't have to let it weigh on your mind. This doesn't mean you're doing something wrong or that you're a bad person. It simply means that it's impossible always to please everyone. So when those thoughts start creeping in, remember to tell yourself, never mind, and move on with your life. Contemplating various aspects of life is a valuable skill that can foster tranquility. Utilize this term. In today's article, Alex Mathers outlines 11 strategies to combat depression effectively. You do not need to worry about feeling obligated to sit here and listen to everyone's opinions. There is something important to understand. One important point he made is that if you do not care about what others think of the choices you make, it does not make you antisocial. It's perfectly fine as long as you're not breaking any laws or social etiquette, such as cutting in line and ruining other people's day. Individuals possess their own unique perspectives. Hence, merely lacking concern does not signify antisocial behavior. It rather demonstrates a prioritization of personal contentment. Secondly, our self-esteem is a constant influence in our lives. When it becomes overly serious, we must resist the notion of having to constantly maintain a flawless reputation. This concept, which I refer to as polluting your joy, can profoundly impact our happiness. Let us remember to not let the pursuit of perfection hinder our ability to truly enjoy life. Your energy is devoted to assisting others, uplifting them, and empowering them, creating a sense of strength and well-being. When you do this, the focus that was once directed towards you will be redirected to another individual. Consequently, your concern is solely based on my appearance. No, we want other to look good. And how can it help them look better and be more skilled? Next, I would like to read this together. It says, know that people are weird, fuck up and insecure as you. You may see people like, wow, they look perfect in every way. But believe me, everybody has problems. Everybody has problems. Everybody has issues. Maybe if it were a Westerner, they would say, Everybody has a skeleton in the closet. There is a skeleton hidden in the closet. Everyone has problems. And it's not our issue. Next, there will always be people who don't like you. Oh, no matter where you stand, if you have a lot of opinions, there will always be people who don't like you. Expressing strong opinions will likely attract opposition. And even if you stay neutral, some may still criticize you for lacking knowledge. Society often expects you to have opinions, so disapproval and opposition are inevitable no matter your stance. Next, when you find yourself alone and are not required to interact or direct your attention towards others, that is the precise moment where your performance reaches its peak. This state, often referred to as flow state or concentration, allows you to fully immerse yourself and experience optimal focus. Next, people who look relaxed and easygoing, it doesn't mean they don't have problems. They have problems in their lives like everyone else. It's just that they don't feel like they need to be accepted by society like everyone else. They will have problems, but they don't need acceptance from society. So their way of solving problems seems easier and more comfortable. Many times it's interesting that these people can wait. One of the sayings that adults like to say is to live well, be cool, and wait for the right time. Well, sometimes it's actually appropriate for society. He proposed that rather than wasting precious time worrying about what others think, we should devote this time to prioritizing our own well-being. Given the difficulty most people face in taking care of themselves, it is crucial that we take the necessary steps to ensure our health and happiness. The last point, which I really like, is to refrain from fixating on the constant stream of thoughts that arise. It is not necessary to pursue every single thought that arises. Instead, evaluate which thoughts are worth pursuing and which ones should be disregarded. These thoughts are merely products of our brains and do not define our true selves. They are simply fleeting thoughts. While they may be accurate or incorrect, they often do not have any impact on our actions. In fact, they may even lead us astray. Wow, what a fantastic idea from Alex Mathers. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to this episode. Thank you so much. Five minutes, good time, good moments in five minutes.